Hey guys, Aiden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're going to be hooking up the Bat Mini to the Honeywell Vista system. Um, I have a 20P here in front of me, and this is the Bat Mini itself. Um, so it's a pretty small communicator. It is very similar to the Bat Connect, if you're familiar with that. But essentially, it is just a cellular and IP dual path uh, universal communicator. So this does have certain systems that it can integrate pretty well with, and the Honeywell Vista series is one of them. Um, not all Vistas fall under that category. There is a compatibility sheet if you need to see that. But essentially, the 15P and the 20P that we carry, it does integrate well with. So we're just going to be going through the process of wiring this up and programming the Vista panel so that you can get your interactive features, such as arming and disarming from the app, getting notifications, so on and so forth. So. I'll bring the camera over here and we'll get started. All right, so first things first, all we're gonna do is get the communicator open and there is no immediately obvious way to open this. Um, what I found is if you pinch the side, you get a little crease right there and then just pops open like that. So pretty simple. It's just not immediately apparent how to do that. But now that we have it open, we're just gonna wire the Bat Mini to the Honeywell Vista and then we'll go into programming and I'll show you what you need to do for that. So for wiring on this module, if you are looking to get those interactive features and have the integration available for the Vista panels, um, you're gonna need a four wire core bus connection and then you're also going to need two wires for a phone line connection for dial capture. So first off, I'm gonna hook up the red, black, yellow, and green core bus wires. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so for you guys, that is what it's gonna look like for the core bus wires. Hopefully you can see the terminals there. Basically it's green in, yellow in, ground and power. So uh, green, yellow, black, and red as you go left to right across the terminals. Now you need a two wire connection for the phone line. So we're gonna use, um, we're just gonna use red and black for the ring and tip. So, there is the Bat Mini completely wired up. So green, yellow, black, red for your core bus, and then just two wires for your dial capture. Um, you could probably use red and green. Those would be better wires for ring and tip, if I recall. But it doesn't really matter what color the wire is as long as it goes to the correct terminal. So now we're gonna wire the Bat Mini to the Honeywell Vista. So we're gonna take our four wire connection that's gonna to go to the core bus. And if you have a keypad or you have some other module, like a zone expander that's connected to the core bus, all you gotta do is match up the wiring there. Um, so as you can see, my keypad here is connected to terminal four, five, six, and seven. And that's gonna be black, red, green, and yellow. So we're gonna do that real quick. All right, so our core bus is wired there, and now we gotta hook up our dial capture wires and ring, which is our red, is gonna go to terminal 24 down here, and tip is gonna go to terminal 23, which is the third from the last. All right, and that is all the wiring you have to do for the Bat Mini. So, like I said, core bus connection and dial capture wires. And now all we have to do is go in and program the system so that it is able to actually talk to the communicator. So I'm gonna get this moved out of the way and we'll pull the keypad up and I'll show you guys what programming needs done. All right, so for the programming of the Honeywell Vista, um, we actually have a pretty comprehensive little programming manual that you can find on our website located on the Bat Mini page. I have it pulled up here on my phone and we're just gonna be following it literally line by line and just going down and entering um, where it says keypad entry here. You can pretty much just follow those button presses all the way down the list and it will program the module correctly. However, there are a couple sections where um, there is a difference between the 15P and the 20P, um, such as the open report code indication, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Basically on the 15P, there's only one, a one digit entry. And on the 20P, there's a three digit entry. So um, just pay attention to that. Uh, there's only one other thing that you have to worry about when it comes to a Honeywell Vista. So this should be active by default, but Whenever you're using uh, the Bat Mini or the Bat Connect or any of the Alulu communicators, it basically takes up a keypad slot. So you have to make sure that keypad slot is open and available. 
However, it should be on by default, so you shouldn't have to mess with it, but double check it before you go and do the rest of the programming just to make sure. And I'll show you that right now. So go into programming, 4112-800. If you have a different installer code, enter your installer code followed by 800. And once you're in programming, the keypad slot number or keypad address that you need to make sure is enabled is address 21. So go to section star 194. This is the screen you'll see when you get there and then just press 10 to make sure it is active. You'll get a confirmation ding and then it'll move on to the next section. So now we can go back to our little programming manual provided by Alula. So the next thing we need to do is um, you do need to make sure you have the proper installer code because that's going to need provided to um, the service provider. They have to plug it in on their end and sync the system. So if you had to backdoor into your programming, go into star 20, set your installer code to whatever you need it to be. There we have another video on that if you would like to see it. Um, but from there, um, we're gonna go to the primary phone number, which is star 41. And you just need to have a dummy phone number in here. It doesn't have to be a legitimate phone number. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then hit star to confirm. As long as there's something programmed in there that basically tells the system that it needs to use the phone line to send out a signal. So that is required. Uh, we need to go to star 43 to set up a account number. Again, this just needs to be a dummy number. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, star. And then from there, we need to go to star 47. And then we need to press one for tone dialing. And that just kind of determines, that just determines that the system is gonna use tone dialing as the dial capture method so um, that the bat mini can read it. I'm gonna ding. Then go to star 48 which is going to be our report type. Um, we need to set this as contact ID, which is going to be a 77. From there, hit star 65. This is going to be the open report code for the system. So the partition one actually sends open reports. This is what allows the communicator to see whether see when the system is disarmed, basically. So from here, press 100 if you're on a Vista 20. If you have a 15P, you only have to hit one one time and it'll ding. So after that, we're gonna go to star 66, which is the away stay report code, which basically says the system is armed now. Uh, this is actually a six digit entry. So basically up here you can see, since this is a 20P, you have a one, two, and a three. Those are talking about the partitions. So it's a two digit entry per partition. So away and stay for partition one, away and stay for partition two, etc. So you need to hit one, one, zero, 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 zero. It'll give you the ding. So you basically said one, one, which is away and stay for partition one is enabled and all the rest of the zeros turn off partition two and partition three. From there, we need to hit star seven zero and then press one. That is going to allow alarm restore codes, which means if an alarm condition is disarmed, it'll report that. And then we need to go to star eight four so this section is for auto stay. Basically what that does is whenever you arm the system, the system is gonna to want to arm in stay mode unless it sees a delay door open and close, regardless of whether you hit the stay or away buttons to arm. But whenever you disable this option, it allows the bat mini to decide whether you're gonna be arming in stay mode or whether you're gonna be arming in away mode. So you just need to disable this, go into star 84 and then hit zero. The only other thing you gotta do is hit star 99 to back out. Now, the only thing you would have to do from here is have your service provider sync up the system to the BAT Mini, which is done remotely. So if you're activating with us, make sure that you've submitted your activation form, which comes whenever you purchase the service. Once that's done, just say, hey, my installation and programming's done. Please sync the communicator. We'll go in as long as it syncs everything's good to go and you can just start using your bad mini.
So that is all there is to it. Uh, the Bat Mini is a very simple installation uh, for Honeywell Vista systems, and it is quite useful considering it is a universal option while providing integration to the Vista platform. So if you're interested in it or any other Alula or Vista products, by all means, check us out at alarmsystemstore.com. Um, we got the Vista, we got the bats, uh, we got service for the Alulas. We also have other things like alarm.com, DSC, Qualsys, and all of our stuff is designed to be DIY friendly. So. If you're interested in setting up your own communication or service, or you just need a new service provider, whatever the case is, reach out to us, let us know, and we'll help you get set up. But that's going to do it for me. You guys have a good one. If you're on YouTube, give us a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.